everyone. I have an exciting product that I want to share with you today. It's a product that I call Better Than Acrylic. It is a material that comes in 12 by 12 sheets. And here is a sheet of it. It's crystal clear. It is very flexible. As you can see in this sheet that still has a protective coating, it's very thin, it's very flexible, and unlike acrylic, it will not split or crack. The first project that I want to show you is a wall hanging, and I don't know if you can see the very top of it. It's got a ribbon hanger. It is a wall hanging that I made for the holidays. This would also be a cute little holiday calendar or advent calendar. But let me show you a little more detail. The first page of Better Than Acrylic, let me put a sheet of cardstock behind it so you can see it a little better, is actually a lamp post that was cut from a Cricut cartridge. I was able to run Better Than Acrylic through my printer. Now my printer takes the toner, so when it comes out it's actually dry. I do not think this would work very good with an ink type printer, inkjet, uh, because the ink is wet and it's going to smudge because the surface is very slick. But if you have a toner printer and it's designed to take heavier cardstock or it has the front feed, um, hopefully it would work for your printer as well. I know that they all are different. By putting things on different pages, it gives the look of dimension. So rather than putting the snowman on this, the same front page and the snow and the trees, by layering, it gives a very dimensional look. So the second page is actually just the snowman and the snow, I guess. So if we were to put the cardstock behind that, you have the snowman, the lantern, snow, and your sentiment. And then the very last page is actually cardstock. I left this spot plain to write um, a sentiment or to journal. It's actually a pocket, so you could put a, a photo here. Um, you could add more pages. This was just a very quick project. The neat thing about this project is this is actually a regular iron-on transfer. Better than acrylic takes heat very well without melting. It will melt if you get it too hot, but I'll go into that a little bit later in the video. You can tell the back of the page still looks very professional, even after putting it under the heat of an iron. Next page is actually just a small sheet of Better Than Acrylic with the title Baby, or the word Baby, and also machine stitching. You can sew on Better Than Acrylic. And then I just did a few regular pages, so the Better Than Acrylic was mainly used just for the front of the album for something different. And then I just have regular um, cardstock pages. This little... Uh, tag was actually ran through my cuddle bud and it's one of the stamps that actually came with my cuddle bug. I don't know if you can see it very well but it is the top layer is better than acrylic and it embossed it beautifully and cut it out with the uh, postage stamp die very nicely very nice clean edges because it is so thin and it's not brittle it cuts out beautifully on the Cricut here is a, and I just did it as like a, a Christmas tree ornament or to hang in your window as a sun catcher, but it's the snow globe from Joys of the Season. It was heat embossed. To get the sparkly look, I used a Versamark pad and some, um, oh, I can't think what color of embossing powder, but it was like a very uh, white, clear embossing powder. And it just made it look very frosty and realistic. Better than acrylic will melt if you get it too hot. Mainly you want to get your embossing powder warm but not hot. So you hit it for a few seconds, back off. Hit it for a few seconds, 
and you continue to do that until you get the look that you want. This leaf is using alcohol inks. Then instead of using embossing powder, I used ultra thick embossing enamel, which gives more of a look of glass. Rather than a frosty glass, it's more of a, a clear glass. This is using some dark alcohol ink, and I didn't have a dabber to blend it, so it has some pretty sharp edges. But if you take your felt um, dabber, it, you'll get more of a blended look like the clear. You can see both sides. Here is a leaf that I left clear, and I ran it through the Swiss Dots embossing folder and use the UT or ultra thick embossing enamel on it. This also works well with um, your cuddle bug or your um, Sizzix Big Shot. Here is a card that I made and it is kind of hard to see the embossing. Let me grab some cardstock here and show you. Okay. And for this, I actually used one of those spacers that it doesn't emboss the center, it only embosses the outside edge. And I used a snowflake folder. The snowman is actually a rub-on and it rub-ons adhere to this stuff wonderfully. They work really, really well. One thing to note, because it is, it's much better than acrylic, but if you make a tight crease, it is going to come apart. So for a card, you have to punch holes and then use ribbon or something to hold the two pages together. One more project, and it is a snow globe project as well. It's the very project, it is the very first project I did um, with Better Than Acrylic. And it's a snow globe. And because I was trying out different things, I tried to sew around the edge. And as you can see, it took the thread perfectly. Using a stays on ink pad, I was able to stamp on better than acrylic. Like the printing, I don't think you can use just any ink pad to stamp on this. You have to use a stamp pad like stays on that's made for slick surfaces. One thing I want to show you that I found, and I've not had a chance to cut a lot of things on my Cricut or die cutting machine, but here are a couple snowflakes. This one's actually embossed with um, embossing powder, and this is clear, but this is just to show you the sizes. Let me try to get it so that you can actually see it. I want to say this little one was cut, I can't remember if it was one and a quarter inch, I think, but as you can tell, it can cut pretty small and still get all of the details, which to me is amazing because for a long time I've wanted to be able to cut clear material on my Cricut, but everything I tried just didn't work. And to get more information on how to get better than acrylic, you can visit my blog, bugjunkie.blogspot.com. I have all of the information there. For those of you that pre-ordered, all of the orders shipped out yesterday, so you should have them within two or three days. You can cut it with a pair of scissors. Now this has the uh, protective film already removed, so I don't know how well you can see it, but See that? That easy. I'm going to try to rip it. It just, it's very sturdy. Now it doesn't mean you won't leave a little crease in it because it will crease. And let me just demonstrate, like if this was a card and you were going to do a tight crease, I'll show you. You crease it and it is together. It's together. But if you bend it back and forth enough, um, eventually, well, okay, it's staying together pretty well, but when I try, I actually, for this card, I scored it as best as I could on my score pal, 
And then I folded it and using my bone folder, I gave it a really tight crease. Maybe if you didn't do that, it would stay um, together longer because this is really not wanting to break. But I'm going to say if you're doing a card and you want it to last, you're going to want to add um, some holes and, and secure it with some ribbon or string. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email is on my blog, and I will have more soon.